Contestant number 22, Ms. Cottage Grove. Gretchen, should children be financially responsible for their aged parents living in a nursing home? Actually, I have personal um, belief in this because my grandmother just recently moved into a nursing home and my father has been totally responsible for financing her along the way and so I'm a strong believer in that. Gretchen Carlson, Miss Cottage Grove. A child prodigy on the violin, our next contestant has been a guest soloist with the Minnesota Orchestra. Tonight with Spanish fire and flair, she performs Carmen Fantasy. Welcome Miss Cottage Grove, Gretchen Carlson. Gretchen Carlson, Miss Cottage Grove. And now Miss Minnesota, winner of a $3,000 educational scholarship, a $5,000 mink jacket from the Minnesota Fur Farmers, and every girl's dream, a chance to walk down that runway in Atlantic City. Miss Minnesota is Gretchen Carlson, Miss Cottage Grove.
One, of course, will be the first runner-up. The other, Miss America 1989. The two women receiving the highest scores are Gretchen Carlson, Miss Minnesota, and Maya Walker, Miss Colorado. Now there are two, just two. I mentioned earlier 90,000 are involved in this pageant, and it's come down to two. One of you is going to receive a $17,000 scholarship. You will also be Miss America's standby. First runner-up is still pretty sensational. And we know that whichever you wears the crown, we'll be hearing from both of you for years to come. But now, one of you is going to have her life changed dramatically forever. From this moment on, it will never be the same. First of all, there's that $30,000 scholarship that goes with the title, a national tour, and of course, you'll be earning over $100,000 in appearance fees. You're going to have a year that you'll never forget. So now, we announce our first runner-up. It is Maya Walker, Miss Colorado. Miss America is Gretchen Carlson, Miss Minnesota. Gretchen Carlson, your public awaits, and whether that crown is on or not, take a walk down that runway. Yeah. 